Good day, and welcome to my chess stream, uh, where I uh, stream some of what I do on LeeChess.org. Uh, instead of streaming a game, I'm going in this video uh, to show one of my favorite Lee Chess features, and that's studies. Uh, so I'll just get right to it. Uh, if you go to the Learn and then Study option, it takes you to this page. Uh, you get to see different public studies that other people have done. Uh, but you can also create your own, which is what I'm going to do now. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to set visibility to invite only, um, just because I'll be sharing this study with my coach, and he's asked that I keep the study private, so that not just anybody can go in there and take a look, but I can still show off um, the various features that are available so you can set who can do an engine analysis i'm going to leave that to everyone same with opening explorer who can use that who can clone this who can share an export who can pin study comments um actually no that's where study comments can be pinned i guess um you can either let everyone stay on the same position or let everyone browse freely i'm going to let everyone stay on the same position and we're going to start and then you can add chapters. You can give each chapter its own name. There's various ways you can import games. You can just have an empty chapter if you want. You can select a PGN file and upload it here. Um, you can start from a position with the uh, FEN. You can tell it which variant it is, as well as orientation. Um, you can do different analysis modes, like practice with the computer, hide next moves, an interactive lesson even. Um, so if you want to teach somebody something, this is a great tool for that. You can import games from leechess.org or chessgames.com, which is really nice. Um, I normally wind up importing games from leechess.org because I want to go back and study my losses. So what I do is I fire up a new tab, like I've done here. I go to my profile. I go to my latest games. And as you can see, I've lost a lot of games recently. I probably want to take a look and see what I'm doing wrong in these games. So I'm going to import these games uh, to my study. I think you can just copy link. Pop it in here, yes. Uh, but don't browse away from URL while you do this, because it will get rid of all of your games that way. So be sure to... Uh, not navigate away from this before you save. Uh, the good thing about importing from leechess.org is that variant is automatically detected, uh, so you don't have to worry about selecting a variant. I just right click, copy link, and paste. And we're just going to do that for all the other games. I'm going to try to do this in order. I'm only going to do the tournament games for now. That'll give me plenty of material to study. And I'm not going to show them all in this video either. I'm just going to basically show off the features of the study using one game. And once I've shown that off, um, that'll be the end of the video. <laughs> Like I say, a lot of games to analyze. There's 12, maybe 13 in all that I'm going to be importing. Um, if you're seeing the numbers, especially the ratings, you're seeing that I'm playing against a lot of players that are better than me. Okay, these are casual games, so I'm not going to import these right now. Um, that's because I played an open tournament. Anyone can join. Uh, competition was tough in that tournament. Uh, so I did only win one game. I feel like I probably should import those games so I can take a look and see what I'm doing right, if anything, what I'm doing wrong. Because there's something I'm doing wrong, I'm not winning the game. So there must be a mistake somewhere on my part. And as you can see, it actually will automatically name any games that you import from Leechess. Um, this game was my one victory. So we'll take a look at that because I want to show off something that is good for me. Um, but you can clear annotations, you can clear variations, you can delete this chapter if you want. 
Um, you can do the analysis mode. You can do orientation. I was black in this game, so we'll set the orientation to black. And if you toggle this up here, uh, it'll actually give you different openings that Stockfish will analyze, um, that it you know could recommend. It'll give you an evaluation here of how good or bad each one of these is. Uh, there's E5, C5, E6, C6, and C6. Um, this is Stockfish 11. Um, you could also go here to request a computer analysis. I'm not going to do that just yet. If you do request a computer analysis, it is a newer version of Stockfish that does that. Um, but here, you can actually enter comments. Um, and it looks like there's a comment here about the opening, the King's Pawn opening. It pulls this information from Wikibooks. If you're really curious, you can open that in a new tab. And it'll take you right to Wikibooks, where it tells you about chess opening theory E4. Um, it looks like it even links you some responses here. Uh, some different plans you can look at, uh, different orientations of the board, uh, different moves. There's a theory table that you can consult. So there's a lot of great information here. Uh, this lets you annotate the game. So for instance, good move, mistake, blunder, brilliant move, interesting move, dubious move. There's a whole bunch of them here. Um, you know, for instance, I could tag this as development. Uh, I could tag my response as development. Um, I could even tag it as novelty. I could have both tags there. Um, this is not a novelty. Millions of chess players throughout history have done that. This is not a novelty. But, you know, if you have a novelty, you can put it in there. If you have time trouble and it's your first move, then you probably have bigger problems than time trouble. But you can note that as well. And you can actually go through the game. You can just step through it. Uh, I like to take a step through. Um, in fact, what I normally do at this point, let's say, my opponent here is playing the Italian game. I might just make a quick note of that. Uh, it even says Italian game. So I don't even need to make a quick note of that, but I could if I wanted to. I'll just type it in there, and it'll appear here. Uh, I could show what white might be trying to do in the Italian game uh, by placing the arrows on here. You can place arrows of different colors, too. Uh, to maybe denote that maybe this threat is worse for black than this threat here. Um, and those will stay as well. Like, if you come back to that move, they're there. They're there until you clear annotations. Or until you click on the board, that will remove them all as well. Um, but let's say you add a few of those. You want to keep them there. There's a little marking up here that shows you uh, which moves have those arrows. Um, you can also select a piece uh, just by right-clicking on it. Again, you can select different pieces. You can apply different colors. Uh, and again, it will give you that notation that a piece has been selected. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go through this game step by step. Uh, I'm going to look for where things could have gone better, either for myself or my opponent. Um, any blunders, any mistakes, things like that. Um, here I'm just gonna put in f6 knight um just as an observational thing uh and then this is where things get a little bit tricky with that for instance um if I let that happen white wins a piece so I just take with the knight Um, and I think this actually wins a piece for me, because I think here it's even. But then I take his knight with check after he takes my knight, or after he takes my bishop, rather. He takes with his queen, I take his bishop with my queen, so I'm up a piece at this point, as far as I can tell. So I could just make a note of that here. And I can even go here, um, back into the annotations, 
And I can even say black is better. And it even puts a little glyph above the queen showing that move. So that's really nice to have. And then I can see here that uh, white is trying to put pressure on this pawn. Probably wasn't too worried about that at this point. Because there's nothing defending. There's nothing else to defend that rook. So I probably, yeah, I just guard the pawn again. Okay, now this pawn is pinned. So I probably am just going to leave it where it is. I broke the pin here by moving the queen. Um, yeah, rather than just take, uh, I went and threatened the queen. I don't particularly remember doing that. It's an interesting choice. Um, I think the move is interesting, so I'm going to mark it as such. Uh, probably isn't the best move, but it's interesting. Yeah, now I need to do something to save the bishop. And the queen is under threat if I move the bishop. So I'm definitely going to make a note of that. So how I solved it was move here. Um, I'm pretty sure this still loses the bishop. Interesting how there's a skewer there. I think I solved this. Now see, I'm analyzing the game the day after, so... Yeah, I did solve that. I mean, it's an otherwise solid move by white. Yeah, and I saved the bishop, so that worked out well for me. Apparently, I'm just going to hang that bishop. Decided the bishop wasn't important. And now I'm actually down material. I'm still trying to figure out why I hung the bishop. Uh, did I see possibly... No, I think that's literally white's only move. I don't think white can go anywhere else, no. And I can note that in the annotations as well, as it's white's only move. White couldn't take the queen. Uh, the queen was too close to block the check, so white had to move the king. There was only one legal king move. And I think, I think queen here is a mistake because I could just win that queen, perhaps. So I'm going to mark it as a mistake. I'll make a note of that as to why I think it's a mistake. And then white resigned here, because now black's just ahead a whole bunch of pieces. Um, so I'm sure I missed stuff. I'm not stockfish. My rating is in the 1430 range right now. Um, so now I can go back. Uh, I can request a computer analysis. I think I've probably gotten about as much as I'm going to see out of this. And stockfish will now go through this game. And take a look and see where the blunders were made. Uh, it says I made seven blunders. Uh, no, it says my opponent made seven blunders. I made six. It was not a good game for either of us, apparently. Um, but it will also explain why these moves are maybe mistakes. Uh, so, for instance, when I moved here, uh, it said this was a mistake and here's why h6 is better um and you could actually go through stockfish's analysis and this apparently leads to a better position for black um i'm probably not quite good enough to see how or why that is necessarily so that'd be something i'd go over with my coach and be like why is this considered a mistake um Taking the knight here is considered a blunder. 
And I'm not sure why that's a blunder, so I'm just going to take a quick look and see what Stockfish recommended. Um, so it said queen takes bishop. Right to, okay. So I still win the knight. It's just I win it differently. And this is how Stockfish uh, would go through the game. Uh, to the best of Stockfish's ability, I guess, is basically the way to put that. Um, there's even a neat little graph down here that shows you, you know, roughly what point you are in the game, like which move you're on, and it, the graph shows, you know, is white better, is black better? Um, and you can also take this to a separate analysis board, I believe. Maybe you can't. I thought you could. Uh, let me just take a look here. It should be possible to just open this in a separate analysis board, but I think you might actually have to go to the game to do that. So let's let's do that real quick. You can actually take this over to the actual, like you can follow the link to the actual game. Uh, you can go to computer analysis. You can request computer analysis here. It's separate. So that if someone's requested a computer analysis on a game, but you haven't gone through it yourself to check yet, you can just go ahead and import it to a study. That game won't be analyzed yet there, um, which is another nice feature of studies, because you always want to try and look at the game yourself first uh, to figure out uh, where you could improve before you let Stockfish tell you where you can improve. Um, it's generally a better way to uh, go forward with your game. Um, and then you can click the learn from your mistakes button. And it said rook on f to e1 is a mistake. Because you see it highlighted in red. Find a better solution for white. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what the answer is. But I like this move. It turned out to be the right move. Because uh, it's threatening the queen and the rook. So we can go on to the next one. Uh, it said this was a mistake. Which was kind of interesting. Uh, so I probably would just take the bishop. That was a good move. All right, and it said queen d3 was a mistake. Find a better move. Uh, white is super winning here, apparently. Probably move the bishop here instead. Let's see. That's a good move. Uh, I don't usually find the good moves this reliably, so I'm waiting to not get one correct. Okay, it said king to f2 was a mistake. Find a better move for white. I think maybe the bishop here is better. It is. Okay, it said rook to d8 was a mistake. Find a better move for white. There, that's a good move for white. All right, it said moving the king there due to check was a mistake. That's the only legal king move. Is the answer really to sack the queen by taking the rook? That would seem very strange, but let's try it. Apparently that's the best move. Uh, moving the queen here was definitely not correct. Um, as I saw in my study. Um, hmm. Maybe it's still to take the rook, although I can't imagine that's the right move. Let's try it. No. So, you see, when you don't get a move, uh, you can view the solution, you can skip this move, or you can try again. Uh, I think you maybe push this pawn. Okay, that was the right move. And then you can review the other player's mistakes. Uh, usually this goes to your side first. I don't know why it went with white first, where I was black in this game. It said this was a mistake. 
we already saw in the analysis from the study what the right move is. It's to take this bishop, um, which is another reason why you want to refrain from analyzing the game until you're ready. Um, because you can learn from your mistakes with the help of Stockfish in a computer analysis. So it's really helpful for you that way. Uh, it said queen g5 was a mistake. And I'm really not sure what would be a better move for white here. So my thinking was queen here. And then this could lead to bishop here. Can't take because it's pinning the pawn. And maybe get a checkmate. Except the queen's here. So that might be something to do later. But apparently that's not the best move. Maybe here? No, that's not the best move. If you're completely stumped, you can hit view the solution, though. And it says that's the best move. Uh -huh. And it'll even show you a response that might give you an idea as to why that's the best move. Uh, but that's something you can do with the analysis board. Uh, I find it's kind of helpful with studies as well to have that. Uh, you can also clone the study. You can download the PGN or the chapter PGN. You can copy it to your clipboard. So if you have somewhere else you want to paste it, you can do that. Um, you can download a GIF of the game, which is interesting. I didn't even know that was a feature, so that's really cool to see that. Um, and then, of course, you can actually go over here and see various information about the game, like when it was played, the time control, uh, the different ratings. It says white ELO and black ELO, um, but just to clarify, uh, the rating system used on Lee Chess is not ELO, it's Glico 2. Um, there is a slight difference, and there's a page on there that explains that that I will try to include in the description below. Um, but you can take a look here at all the studies as well. Um, not all the studies, all the chapters, uh, or at least some of them. Yeah, you can take a look at all of them. You just need to toggle up here. Um, it shows you the various positions that were available in that game. Um, so you can hop around between chapters this way as well if you're more of a visual person. And like this list doesn't help you, which it may or may not. Um, so that's an option as well. And I believe, yes, if you get totally stuck on studies and you want to figure out how to do something, this is a helpful little informative thing here. It's a shared analysis board. It's a powerful tool, which it really is. Um, it really is quite powerful. Um, and once you're done with your first chapter, you can move on to your next chapter and your next one. You can invite whomever you want to the study, although you really should only invite people that are expecting you to invite them or who want to be invited. Um, or you can open it to the public if you don't care who sees it. Uh, it's a really flexible and really powerful tool for upping your game in chess. So if you want to get better, I do highly recommend using studies.